Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Luke the Boss here, and today, as you can see, we are back with another video. Um, this video is a different video. Um, I was asked to show how I create my thumbnails. So I'll throw it up, throw it up, throw it up. Um, so yeah, let's get right into that. And don't worry, there's gonna be other videos today. My internet isn't being the best right now, so I thought this would be the best video idea to do right now at this moment. So the first thing that I do whenever I'm about to create a thumbnail is I go into um, Roblox and, and I go to the studio and I'll show you what I do from here. So then once you're in the Roblox studio, um, there's a plugin that you're going to need to install. It's for like animating the characters and stuff. Uh, it's called Moon Animator. It's a plugin you can install on Roblox and see so you just go to plugins and you can find it. Um, I don't exactly know which person created the one I'm using but that's what you need is moon animator then once you have moon animator you get these three four things and you can insert people as you see insert characters I will insert mine make sure you click R15 because that's the one that I use I don't know what R6 I think it just adds more like um, animation abilities so it inserted my character then once you have a character or a model, you can also insert models and stuff, and you can do stuff with that. But once you have a character or model, I don't know why this is opening. You will click on Moon Animator. You will hit File, New Animation. You name it whatever animation it's going to be called. I'll name it Tutorial. Confirm. You hit the plus. You click the thing you want to animate. Um, you go to see you click save frame as well and you click OK and then uh, as you can see now you can click on body parts and it will give them animation options I'm just gonna animate really fast and then we'll show you what I do next okay so this is the animation I did he's like slipping or falling so then once you have the in the little animation that you want and it's good you go to view and you go to Explorer and then here's the thing you can see it highlights you go here and you will export it um, I have a specific file for all the animations that I have done it's my renders file so then you'll put it in here and you'll name it slipping animation tutorial okay and then we will jump over to the next thing that you need to do so for this part you are gonna need um, a certain program it's called blender um, you can find it a whole bunch of places just look up blender uh, on YouTube like render tutorial and it will like give you I could probably find it and put a link in the description if you want to download that Ooh, voice crack there so then when you click on blender it opens up um, this will pop up you just hit the mouse scroll wheel on your mouse and click it and then you hit delete and you delete this item. Um, then to add something into this area, you click import and you put wave front object. So then you go to the folder that you put your um, thing in. And then there's gonna be two, these are just things I've saved for other videos. So from here, there is going to be uh, two things in your folder if you've just done one. Um, there's going to be a MTL and there's going to be an object. You want the object thingy. So you click the object file and then you want to see anything on here. Don't do anything. Don't click anything. Just zoom out on your scroll wheel and you'll find it highlighted and you'll move this arrow. You just want to move it into the center of the screen and you want to zoom in on it and you see uh, that's about good where I want it to be. So from here, uh, you can do over here, these are all the settings with it. So what I do, just to keep it simple, I do 38, 3840 and 2160, and I move this up to 100%. So this is to put it in 4K resolution. Uh, you go to shading, and you change the background to transparent because you don't want anything in the background. Uh, you hit this little plus here, and you hit texture solid. And all of the colors that you have come back and now it's to what your character was inserted. I don't know why the hat doesn't change. It's always done that. I don't know why. 
So you're not done yet. Um, I mean, you can be done if you want to. Uh, but to add more shading and to make it more better quality, you hit this blue circle here and you will put more shading here. So basically I am done here. I don't have anything else to add. I added everything that I need to add. So you will right click this here. You'll hit zero on the number pad and you'll hit shift F and you'll be able to move it around. You can use WASD and you'll be able to move it around. You will line up where you want your thing to be, um, how you want your render to look. So I, I like that. That's a decent one. You'll left click the mouse and you'll hit render. It will start rendering, rendering what you just created. So mine is done, as you can see here. Um, once it is done, you will go down to image and you will put save as image. And then you will go to your desktop or wherever you have your folder that you want to put it in. You go to renders and this is where you name it. Uh, you can name it whatever, slipping man. It's because I don't have something saved as that and then you hit save as image. It should save real quick, but you want to make sure that it did save. So, because I don't want to do it all again. So you go in here and it did save. It is right here. You know, pop up and you can check out what you just rendered. So you see, this is what I just rendered. Um, so here's something that I learned as well. When you exit out of this, like you're done, it always pops up this. It always pops up. Don't worry. You just got to check to see if it's saved. Just hit OK. And that will pop up. It always pops up with that whenever it opens and closes. So now I have this. So uh, next, what I use to make the thumbnails, where I go through that process. So I don't use anything fancy at all. Um, I probably use the most, the least fancy thing. I use Paint 3D to create my thumbnails. I mean, it's been working so far. So... It can't be that bad. So uh, what I start is I hit new. I go to canvas. And I always put my um, thumbnails into uh, 1280, 720. So it is 720p. Um, then you insert a background to for the background of the thumbnail. So I will just use this random background that I use for a lot of my videos open and you'll just stretch it out to make sure that it matches and voila as you see there and then you want to insert the render that you just made so you go to insert again we'll go to renders and we will go down and we will find it so here's a part see how big it is it's way bigger than the actual picture you want to hit make it 3d and then you can change the size of it to make it fit into the screen and then uh, you can add text and everything you got a text and uh, you can add whatever text you want we'll make it yellow mm, we'll make it white to match it you can change the font to what you want uh, feeling good to make thumbnails Simple text, right like that. Let's see. I mean, it, it doesn't look too bad, and I made that in a couple seconds. So yeah, that's basically how um, I make my thumbnails. Then when I'm done, I go save as image, save as a PNG or JPEG. But PNGs are normally what I save them as. I hit save. Type in whatever name. Thumbnail creation. And save it to whatever folder you save it in. I always save my thumbnails to my pictures. I hit save. Go to my pictures. And we'll find the thumbnail that I just created. Uh, we actually go to quick access. So we open it. And voila. And uh, that's it for this.